Notes of vanilla and caramel tucked away behind aromatic spices like cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, allspice, and peppermint leaves with a hint of nutmeg. Hey everybody, it's Catherine Cole. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things beauty and fragrance. I asked someone I knew if I could use their house for this particular series that I am starting on my channel and that is called Pairings. Recently I went to a winery where they had a multitude of wines that they create at their establishment and in looking at all of the notes of the wines it occurred to me how similar alcohol is to perfume. The ingredients are layered upon each other to bring out this note or bring out that note or infuse the ingredient with this or fat wash it with that all to alter the taste and aroma of the wine or the alcohol. I also have really been getting into the Netflix series Drink Masters and how they start to finish create this whole presentation with their drink. They have the bites, they have the aesthetic arrangement that they present it with and it just flabbergasts me how similar that is to perfume. The inspiration behind the scent, the way that the notes are layered, the way that they present themselves and blend the bottle, how it all ties together to create this one product or in Drink Masters that one drink. You know, they'll freeze it sideways so that the side melts and merges with the, the cocktail to create a constant evolution of the drink and how similar that is to fragrance, the top notes, the middle notes, the base notes, how, they, how the scent evolves and changes over time. The intro I gave you sounds so much like a fragrance, right? But it actually is the description of Captain Morgan Rum. It humored me how that could easily have been a description of a fragrance. So I am starting this series called Pairings, where I'm going to take an alcohol or an ingredient such as chocolate or coffee and share with you an assortment of fragrances that focus on or highlight that one particular ingredient. So if that sounds intriguing to you, make sure to watch this series. I thought we'd begin with one of my most common go-to's when it comes to cocktails, and that is rum. Just like with my perfume choices, I love that sweet, gourmand, smooth, somewhat creamy, caramely aspect that uh, rum provides. And in these particular fragrances, rum is one of the focal notes of the fragrance. So let's just get into it, shall we? We're going to start with my least preferred of these options and then end with my favorite of this collection. The first one we're going to discuss is Zhirzhov's Tony Iommi Monkey Special. I know this is a really popular fragrance and a lot of you probably will be disappointed in me that that is my least favorite of these eight fragrances. Tony Iommi Monkey Special was created in 2021. The artist behind the fragrance was Chris Maurice. Might do a completely separate segment just on this fragrance alone because I really enjoy uh, the story behind it. But just getting into the fragrance itself in this video, top notes of the fragrance include rum, passion fruit, bergamot, geranium, middle notes, cinnamon, Singapore patchouli, leather and Bulgarian rose, the base notes, caramel, vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, labdanum, ambergris, and musk. Zhirzhov as a whole always has a moderate to enormous rejection as well as a moderate to enormous longevity. The Zhirzhov uses very quality ingredients that make a long lasting fragrance. To me, I smelled a lot of patchouli in this fragrance and patchouli is uh, kind of touch and go with me when it comes to my own personal preference. Um, there was, it was a very powdery fragrance and I tend to not gravitate towards more powdery fragrances. I also had a definite hint of mint in there, which is funny because mint is nowhere even listed in the ingredients, but that would have been my, without looking at the notes, if I would have described this fragrance, I would have said it was heavy on patchouli with an after effect of like a mint aftertaste. All in all, very interesting fragrance, very artistically created, but just not my own personal cup of tea, or in this case, cocktail of choice. Moving on. The next one we'll talk about uh, in the number seven position is a 2023 fragrance. So it's brand new, created by Ma Maisalef. 
Masalaf, Masalaf. I don't know how to say that. I enjoy a lot of their fragrances. I should know how to say it. I apologize. And that is Note Vanille Nectar. Note Vanille Nectar is considered an amber vanilla fragrance. It was created, like I said, in 2023. The artist was not listed. Uh, it starts off with top notes of mandarin, orange, and citruses. Middle note, strictly jasmine. Base notes, vanilla, rum, and cognac. A lot of these fragrances listed, um, when you break it down what category, a lot of them were considered amber vanilla. Typically, I tend to like an amber vanilla fragrance. In this case, I felt like this particular fragrance was made for maybe a more mature or older audience or clientele. Uh, it was a very floral, boozy, vanilla type fragrance. To describe my experience of the notes of this fragrance, I would have said it was dominant of the vanilla, the rum, the cognac, the jasmine to give it a little bit of a floral hint and then um, the addition of the citruses, perhaps an orange or lemon in order to liven and kind of zesty up. The fragrance as a whole uh, lighten it in a way to keep it from being such a heavy weighted fragrance. Maselof is a long lasting fragrance with a moderate sillage. So again, that was Maselof 2023 Note Vanilla Nectar. Moving into the number six position of this video, Christian Dior Vanilla Diorama. Vanilla Diorama is a 2021 fragrance. The artist behind it, Francois Dumaché. Uh, it's considered an amber vanilla fragrance, another amber vanilla. Uh, the top notes include orange, pink pepper, lemon. Middle notes, rum, cacao, and cardamom. It's notes, bourbon vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. Vanilla Diorama is a long lasting fragrance with a moderate projection. The notes I experienced the most in this fragrance, I smell a lot of the bourbon vanilla mixed with the cardamom and the lemon to, to zestify, to lighten the experience again. Short and sweet, Vanilla Diorama is a very kind of boozy vanilla type fragrance. Very, very heavy on the vanilla. Go figure with the name of Vanilla Diorama. That is the number six position on this list. The next up is Nishane Fan Your Flames. This is a little older of a fragrance. It is a 2016 release fragrance. Artist behind it is Georges Lee. Top notes of the fragrance include coconut and rum. Middle notes, tobacco, tonka bean. Base notes, Chinese cedar and oak moss. Fan Your Flames is a long lasting fragrance with a strong projection or a strong sillage. My experience of the fragrance, this one was a little bit more difficult. It, it definitely evolves over time. I really enjoyed the beginning of this fragrance. My first impression, the first notes that I smell upon spraying this fragrance, I smell a lot of the coconut, I smell a lot of the rum and the um, tobacco with the hint of the tonka bean. As it dries down, it really evolved and changed and I got a lot more of the oak moss and the cedar. It really reminded me a lot of um, like the cabin I stayed at when I went to camp as a child, kind of that wet cedar, wet wood type scent. I don't dislike this fragrance. I enjoyed it, I appreciated it. It just isn't one that I personally would wear. Again, that was Nishane, Fan Your Flame. These last ones I'll say straight out. It is really hard for me to pick a fourth, third, second, and first position of these fragrances. I really enjoyed all four of these, just in different ways. Kind of hold the order that I present these loosely. The next one we're going to talk about is Apple Brandy on the Rocks. In this series, Killian is going to come up an awful lot. Obviously, the heir to the Hennessy throne. When it comes to boozy fragrances, he knows what he's doing and he does it well. Regardless, this particular one, Killian Apple Brandy on the Rocks is a 2021 fragrance. He had done a previous Apple Brandy one, but we're discussing the 2021 version of Apple Brandy on the Rocks. As in many of Killian's fragrances, the artist behind this is Sidoni Lancecier. As I said, it's a 2021 fragrance. It definitely has a moderate longevity and a moderate sillage. As much as I appreciate and adore Killian fragrances for such a high price point, the life of Killian fragrances does not, it leaves a little to be desired. I will say that. Never am I going to talk bad about Killian. Love the fragrances. Love. It just, the life just isn't as long as I would prefer. Top notes of Alpha Brandy on the rocks include cardamom and bergamot. Middle notes, apple, rum, brandy, pineapple, vanilla, and moss. Base notes, ambroxan and cedar. This is a very sweet fragrance. One that I love smelling. However, 
I think that if I were to wear it, it's a little almost too sweet for my personal preference. It really reminded me of one of my all-time favorite candles from Bath & Body Works, which is one of those fall spiced apple type fragrances. Apple brandy on the rocks in a nutshell definitely smells like a spiced candy apple type scent. So if you want to smell like a very sweet candy apple with a hint of spice, apple brandy on the rocks is your go-to. Next we have one of, one of my all-time favorite scents by this particular brand and that is Anishio Side Effect. I did another video on Anishio Absolute Aphrodisiac and honestly when I pair Side Effect with Absolute Aphrodisiac, love it. And that is why my little sample that I got here is completely gone. I have worn it out. However, Anishio fragrances, they have an enormous projection and they have an enormous longevity. Anishio does not disappoint when it comes to quality of a fragrance. Anishio side effect is again another amber vanilla fragrance. Notes of the fragrance, they don't really go into detail too much. Uh, all that are listed are rum, vanilla, tobacco, and cinnamon. And honestly, bottom line, when you spray the fragrance on yourself, the notes that you experience are those four notes. Rum, vanilla, tobacco, and cinnamon. That's what you smell with this fragrance. To give you a visual, side effect is sitting in the corner of a dark cocktail lounge, experiencing a cocktail of spirits of your choice and with the smell of tobacco in the air. It is a heavy, seductive, rich fragrance and one of the few fragrances with heavy notes like this that I just am in love with. Side Effect by Inicio, definitely one you need to check out if you haven't. Nearing the completion of our list, in the loose number two position is another by Killian Paris. This is a 2017, one of my favorite years, another amber vanilla fragrance, and that is Black Phantom. I did a separate review on Black Phantom. I will link it in the information section of this video if you would like more history and information about this particular fragrance. However, just know, it was again created by Sidoni Lancassier. Top notes include dark chocolate, rum, and caramel. Middle notes, coffee, sugarcane, almond. Base notes, sandalwood, and heliotrope. Again, this fragrance has moderate sillage. On Frangratica, it was lasted, listed as long-lasting. I think because of the heavier notes in this fragrance, it might have more life than some of the other Killian fragrances that I enjoy. However, again, it's a Killian, so I hesitate to say this is a long lasting fragrance make sure to apply it on top of a lotion or a body oil and that will elongate the life of this fragrance i had the owner of this house that i am in recording uh experience this fragrance and he thought it smelled like chocolate like a kalua in coffee i personally think i smell the chocolate i smell coffee and more of a caramel rum type scent so this is a little bit more boozy of a fragrance in the rum selections that we've discussed today. However, it's very, very sweet with that heavy caramel note. I think caramel is probably the heaviest note that I experience within this fragrance. Black Phantom by Killian is one that I greatly enjoy, one that I wish I could afford purchasing and um, would highly encourage you to check out if you have not. And to conclude this segment of rum fragrances in my pairings series that I am doing, the number one position, and this is definitely the number one position if I'm talking about my personal preferences of these eight fragrances, and, and that was inspired by a fellow fragrance reviewer, one that I greatly esteem and respect immensely. I have followed him. I really respect and appreciate how he presents fragrances. Always enjoy his content, and that would be Stephen Graviolatos, and I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, or Redolescence as we know him from YouTube. The master perfumer he collaborated with for this creation were uh, Dominique Ropion and Julian Raskinet. The fragrance that we're speaking of is Navitus Raised Spirits. Navitus Raised Spirits is a, is a 2022 release. It starts off with top notes of caramel, rum, and pimento leaf. Middle notes caramel, brown sugar, and sugarcane. Base notes tobacco, bourbon vanilla, cashmere wood, and oak. As I said, this is my favorite of the fragrances that I presented today, probably because again, it's much more sweet in nature. It's very dominant in the caramel, the rum, the brown sugar, those rich, sweet notes, but not overly sweet. 
as to become more sickeningly sweet. I believe the wood and the tobacco really help to mellow it out to keep it from becoming too candyish of a scent. I just, I find it very seductive. I find it a sexy scent. I think it could be easily worn by both a man or a woman. All the fragrances that we discussed today are unisex, by the way. This one just really speaks to me and is my favorite of the selections that we discussed today. So again, if you enjoyed the content of this video, please make sure to give it a like. Please make sure to hit follow and subscribe so that you are notified when I release the rest of this series of pairings. And um, I'm really excited about it, so I hope that you are too. And to conclude this video, in honor of Ray's Spirits, in that the premise behind Ray's Spirits is uh, a toast to new beginnings and a clear perspective, I will leave you with the words of Joseph Campbell. We must be willing to get rid of the life we've planned so as to have the life that is waiting for us. The old skin has to be shed before the new one can come. I appreciate you all. I love you all. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye. just wanted to give a huge thank you to the person whose house I took over in order to film this video and hopefully some more in the future. Appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for all that you did to make this possible.